what's up guys and welcome to video tutorial on getting started with custom vocabulary for amazon transcribe so what exactly is custom vocabulary in amazon transcribe so custom vocabulary is ideally the list of words that you want amazon transcribe to recognize in an audio file that you are providing for transcription so generally it's a good idea to put domain specific words in the custom vocabulary rather than creating custom vocabulary in general for all the audio file so with the help of custom vocabulary we can enable amazon transcribe to improve on audio recognition right so moving along so ideally amazon recommends that you create separate small vocabularies tailored to specific audio recordings instead of creating a single vocabulary with many terms to use for all your recording so that is what i said earlier so ideally custom vocabulary resides in txt file and there are multiple ways to define the vocabulary file so you can define the words in the form of a list that is one word per line or one can put in comma separated words or comma separated values within the txt file and the last way is in the form of a table so again it's going to be a txt file but it's going to be a tab separated value uh, with certain columns or headers so we will have a look in the meantime so uh, i have prepared all the three types of vocabulary so it's not specific to any domain or for any audio but this is in general just to give you an idea that how we can uh, create the txt file for custom vocabulary right so first we will have a look at the list.txt so as i said one of the way was the one word per line or one phrase per line right so as you can see here i have four terms or four words that is gujarati cia 18 asia pacific so in case if you have a, a bigram so for example like asia pacific then you need to separate that phrase using hyphen right so you cannot mention asia space pacific so that's the reason I had mentioned Asia hyphen Pacific over here. So this is how uh, you can define custom vocabulary using list that is uh, one word or phrase per line, right? So let's have a look at the another one. So that is comma dot txt, right? So, so this is the another way, uh, which is comma separated values or comma separated phrases or words, right? So it's the same keyword or phrase uh, that we had look in the list.txt so here it is gujarati cia 18 so uh, all these are comma separated right so now the last one that is table.txt so let's have a look so this is how uh, table format for custom vocabulary looks like right so well uh, defining the vocabulary in table format gives more control over the words or the sort of pronunciation or display as right so ideally it gives us more control so here we have four headers that is phrase ipa right so here is phrase ipa sounds like and display as so we will go through each of the column header and what does it mean so it is mandatory to have headers within the table format right while you are defining the custom vocabulary in the form of table you need this header over here so we will start with phrase so that is the first one so the sequence uh, can be changed right it's not necessary that you need to define ipa after phrase or sounds like after IPA, right? So it can be interchanged. It can be in any sequence, right? So let's start with phrase. So the word or phrase that we want to recognize within the audio, right? So these are the list of 
words or the phrases that we want Amazon Transcribe to recognize in our in the given audio. So it is same as the list dot txt and comma dot txt, right? So these are the same phrases. Now coming to IPA. So IPA stands for International Phonetic Alphabet, right? So hence in this column, you can specify the pronunciation of word or phrase, right? So if you specify the IPA field, then you cannot specify the sounds like field, right? So for example, if, if I'm giving a value for Asia Pacific within IPA, then I cannot mention the value uh, for the same in the sounds like, right? So either can be true. So one can be blank and one can have a value. So that's how it is, right? So, uh, IPA, as I said, it's, it's, it's an international phonetic alphabet, right? So here we basically, uh, provide the pronunciation, right? So I had not created this or written this pronunciation. So I had used some online utility to get the IPA for Gujarat and CIA, right? So that's where, uh, this is how you can mention. So it should be space separated, right? And not tab or comma or hyphen separated, right? So that's IPA. Now moving along to sounds like, so basically uh, you can break the word or a phrase into smaller pieces to provide pronunciation. So again, if you specify the sounds like field, then you cannot specify the IPA field, right? So it's a vice versa. So as you can see for 18, 18, right? So this is the breakdown of that word for the pronunciation, right? So this is how you can uh, define the sounds like column for a given phrase. So it should be separated by hyphen and not by space, right? So that sounds like. Now the last column is display as. Now this is not mandatory at all. But for example, uh, so let's consider Asia Pacific, right? So the phrase is Asia hyphen Pacific. And now I want Amazon transcribe to provide me Asia Pacific without hyphen in the output, right? Then I will put in as Asia space Pacific. So what transcribe will do is it will return Asia space Pacific instead of Asia hyphen Pacific in the output or the transcribe file, right? So same goes for CIA. So I don't want the dots, right? So then I can define display as CIA without any dots, right? So it will put CIA without dots in the transcribe file. So ideally using display as you can handle on how the word should look like in the transcribe text or in the output, right? So in case if you don't specify the display as field, Amazon transcribe will use the phrase field, right? So that is this one, sorry, this one from the input file and the output, right? So uh, these are the three formats uh, that you can use to define custom vocabulary in Amazon transcribe for improving the recognition and transcription. All right. Now, uh, before closing this session, um, let's go through a few of the limitation. So that is you can define maximum hundred vocabularies per account, right? And the size limit for custom vocabulary is 50 KV. So these are basically the uh, two main limitation for defining custom vocabulary that you need to keep in mind. So, well, uh, that's it for now. So this tutorial was all about the quick intro of custom vocabulary, right? So in the next tutorial, we will create simple custom vocabulary and try to improve the recognition and the transcription of Amazon transcribe for a given audio, right? So, well, that's it for now. And as usual, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below. 
and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time